All right, so this is the Division Three game, Queens and Guards. So in this video, I want to go over the goal of the game as well as some skills that you obtain when you practice this game. So, so first, let's start with the skills. What you really learn with this game is logical reasoning is a big part of it because in Queens and Guards, you're always thinking, what will my opponent do? Um, what do I do to respond to that? So logical reasoning is a, a skill that really gets a lot better when you play this game. So the goal of this game is to obtain this position. You want your pawn to be in that center flower there. And you want your six chips to be positioned around it. So your goal is to get this position. You want your pawn in the center um, and your chips around it. So now that we've talked about the way you win, let's talk about the way a tie occurs. A tie, it occurs when the player has their six chips positioned this way because there's no way for your for blue's queen to get in and there's no way for red to get them out. And we'll talk more about how your opponent can get you out of a certain position um, in later videos. So that's, that's another, that's one way a tie occurs. And the other way a tie occurs is when a player cannot move without violating a rule. So they don't have any legal moves yet. All their moves will break a rule. So that's another way a tie occurs. So that's all for today. Um, in future videos, we'll talk more about the different rules and about some, some helpful tricks to help you get better at the game and um, to help you win.